Welcome to this new DIY engineers video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Octoprint with Octopi and your Raspberry Pi. I'm going to walk you through the setup, testing, and we'll even do a sample test by printing a 3D printed part to show you how it works. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I have the Raspberry Pi imagery tool. I'm going to choose device and pick Raspberry Pi 3, and then go to other specific purpose OS, 3D printing, and pick Octopi on the stable option, and go to storage and pick my SD card. After that, add in settings, Make sure to have your Wi-Fi everything set up and make sure to enable SSH. After that, save, click yes, and you're good to start imaging. So I've opened PuTTY. Now the host name will be what I set up when I flash the SD card. So I'm going to do diyengineers.local. Connection type is SSH and open. So I got this error message, accept, not error message, but warning. Login is pi put my password that I set up when I flashed the SD card. Now I'm in. So step one, I'm going to go ahead and run sudo raspy config. Enter the password. So we're in there and go to number three interface options. And then on this first one on the whole camera, we got to say yes. Okay. And what this will do is enable us to use the camera within Octoprint. Otherwise the camera won't be able to be accessed since it's not been configured for doing so. So that's it. And go to finish reboot. Yes. I forgot to run the update and upgrade commands. So I'll type sudo apt update. Make sure to put my Pi password, let that run, and then we'll do sudo apt upgrade. After that, sudo reboot, and we're good to go. All right, so I do wanna make sure to show you my setup. So here I have a Raspberry Pi camera module two. As you can see, the ribbon cable connects it to a Raspberry Pi three, which is then connected via USB to my 3D printer. So after having set up the Raspberry Pi, we're gonna go to our browser and go to our hostname.local to access Octopi. So in my case, it's diyengineers.local. And once we reach it, we're going to go through the setup wizard. Click next. I don't have a backup. If you do, go ahead and browse it and use it. Otherwise, continue. So now go ahead and set up a username and password. We'll just use pi and pi. Okay. So for connectivity, this is basically a connectivity check uh, that is useful to prevent research in in intensive operations as so a checking for updates if it doesn't have a connection. I'll leave it as the default of 15 minutes. Everything else will be, I'll keep it at default. Enable, and then next. Figure anonymous usage tracking, I'm going to enable that. Next, yep, enable. And then here, basically, it's going to check that the webcam is connected. Right now, I just have the camera facing up, looking at the print nozzle, which is this thing where my mouse is. All right, and close that. And let's test the snapshot. It's just a one snapshot picture. So then let's go to next. And this will be your printer profile. So name, I'm just going to call it maker model. I'll just say select plus. It's rectangular. Origin is in the lower left. Yes, heated bed. No, I don't have a heated chamber. Go to 180 on the height axis okay and yeah i have a 0 0.4 nozzle diameter or one extruder and i'll leave this as default so i'll go next and then read this for printer safety yes i understand that i should never leave the printer running unattended yes never expose octoprint to the public internet and yes i've read and understood this so yep finish okay and we're in so i'm here in octoprint you can see temperature profile i can go to control you can see here the extruder if i move it Along the x direction, you can see it moves. I can move it along the y. You can see the base move. I can move it along the z. This defines the step size. So, like if I wanted to move it instead of in a 10 factor, I could do it by 1. You can see it's a lot smaller. 0.1. You can barely even notice 10. You clearly see it. Here it shows the temperature. I'll show you once I load a G code how it looks. This lets you see the G-code viewer, terminal and what's being sent, and then time lapse. So I'll go ahead and to load a file, I'm just going to drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag and drop the G-code file and upload locally since I don't have an SD card connected to the 3D printer. And then you can see servo case. I'm going to go ahead and load and click print. Once I do that, my printer is going to setting a target of 50 Celsius for the base. And once it gets there, it's going to start heating up my extruder. 
So wait a little bit, you can see the bed that's now heated up. And now the extruder or the tool is heating up and this chart kind of shows you that. It shows you how long it took for connecting. And then and this is now where we're at here. So we'll wait a little bit more and then the print will start. So we got there and now we can see the 3D printing getting ready to start the job. So now I can monitor the print using OctoPrint and I can let it do its job. And if I ever want to check on it, you can see the temperature, how it's doing. I can see the time left. At, the, at first it's not super accurate, um, especially at the beginning of the print. But you can see time left and how much it has printed so far, uh, the percentage printed. And then you can always, of course, check the camera, which is one of the most important ones. Everybody wants to see a visual of how the print is going. So we'll just let this one print. Now that we're done, we can see temperatures went back down after finishing. Everything is done here. So I'll just go ahead and system and shut it down. And then I'll disconnect. And then after that, I'll just shut down my printer and I'm done. This concludes the video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.